given I'm on a football trip to Paris, as a food vlogger, I couldn't really spend my time on this trip without going to a French restaurant for a rich and indulgent meal. So join me today, on the last day of my trip to Paris, for a slightly heavy lunch. I do like southwestern French food and I've looked at the menu here and it has some of the classics and it does have other French dishes and uh, it's been recommended to me and also has a Michelin bib so the Auberge Pyrenees uh, is my choice for lunch we're in the 11th arrondissement of Paris and uh, hopefully by the end of it I'll be flying to the airport well as always we had to show our Covid pass but we're in now looking at the menu and of course there's only one way to start Cheers. Well, having seen how they serve the cassoulet, and it is my favourite French dish, then it is not going to be hard for me to choose what I'm having from the menu. So, southwestern meal, so southwestern wine, and uh, obviously I might not get through all of this. So the red wine we've gone for is a Madiron. They're very rough when they're young, but uh, they do smooth out nicely and they're always excellent value for money, but it's well above their weight. So to start with, I've gone for the Giron mushrooms with speck and some sort of black offal product. I'm not quite sure what it is, but uh, I'm sure it will be delicious. It's autumn, good time for mushrooms, and France is a very good place for mushrooms. And, as always, in France, you get plenty of bread with your meal. Beautifully rich, tender, flavoursome, bit of parsley, bit of garlic, the speck, that's that meaty sharpness, gives it a bit of a kick. And uh, I'd say, if you see Girolo Morel mushrooms on the menu, it's always a good choice. What a way to serve this. It's probably my favourite French dish as well. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, you think it's good for starting? <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> oh, well, well, what a treat I'm in for today. I mean, it's uh, got a bit of tomato in, which is rare, but I quite like that. And uh, I'm going to be stuffed at the end of this for sure. What a portion size. So, for those of you unfamiliar with the dish, cassoulet from the southwest of France. It's like a stew or a casserole. It has duck leg, preserved duck leg, confit de canard, Toulouse sausages, beans, cooked in duck fat, and they put all sorts of other things in according to the recipe. Good hearty meal, maybe should have had it before the football, but uh, it really is one of my favourite French dishes, and this looks a corker. Beautifully presented, and uh, the portion size, wow, and he says if you need some more, I, I think that'll be more than enough for me, and worthy of a quick slurp. So, a quick close-up for you, and the richness of the sauce and the beans, the meaty flavours melding together, the skin on the duck there, the sausages, it's beautiful. It's my favourite French dish and a great example of it. Mm. Wow, 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 look at that. Lovely piece of preserved duck leg fat on the outside, really juicy, cooked to the right point, oh the fat, the beans, the sausage, everything. Anyway, I'm going to finish this and I'll uh, see you in a bit.
Must wine isn't quite the wine of the region. I think Minervois or Corbiere are the local wines for Toulouse, Carcassonne and the Cassoulet area. This is not far away and um, it's a good match. So rather than going for one of the sweet things for dessert, which looked very good and a couple you had to pre-order, I've gone for cheese because the cassoulet is so heavy, I don't want a load of sugar afterwards. Livaro, and I'm sorry I forgot the name of this one, but it looks quite good anyway. France, of course, is still the number one in the world for cheeses, but um, the UK, Spain and Italy are not far behind it. The best stuff is here, for sure. So years ago, it used to be almost a religion, an experience, a tradition, a requirement even to have cheese at the end of a meal. But uh, it's gone a bit out of fashion, but you can still get it. And in some places, they bring a really fancy cheese board. And if you want to go over the top, you can have cheese, then it is it. But I'm just going to have the cheese here. And it's a tradition I'd like to see extended and uh, sadly lacking in many parts of the world. And of course, not bad to be able to have a bit left at the end of the bottle and enjoy a quick slur. So it wouldn't be a mutton video without the coffee report and it's just arrived. It's Café Richard, you see them all over France and my experience of coffees in French espressos are a little weaker than Spain or France. But let's see, the crema looks pretty rich so um, it could be quite good. Yeah, so that's pretty good, uh, that is. It's um, not far off, not far off. Okay, in Italy I'd expect something a little stronger and darker, but it's good, it's not bad. So if you're going to have a full-on and proper French meal, it is not complete without the digestif, the liqueur after the meal. And here we have a 1985 Basque Armagnac. Armagnac is basically brandy from the southwest of France, uh, as cognac is from the cognac region just north of Bordeaux. Mm. That's beautiful. Strong. It'll have me flying off to the airport, but a uh, lovely way to finish a meal. So uh, there we are, that was very extravagant. It was a beautiful meal, included my favourite dish. But this is a bit rustic, it's a bit like having great home cooking. And if the chef doesn't know how to do it, then it's not what it should be. And that was what it should be. Okay, not everybody has champagne aperitif. I had about two thirds of the bottle of wine to myself and a digestif, but it was nice. It was expensive and the city is expensive, but I don't regret it because the cooking was fantastic. And I recommend if you like particularly cassoulet or southwestern French food and you're in Paris to come and give this place a try. I'm gonna to have to rush, dash to get my flight as usual. Love you and leave you. Hope you enjoyed the video. More content coming out soon. Please like, share and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and enables me to provide more of this sort of content. Until next time, you can't beat a bit of mutton.